Though we ended the SETI summer camp BIMCO last week, the <laughs> worst publicized marketing ploy since Night Ranger's 1985 Seven Wishes tour. Mm-hmm. You remember yeah. that tour? Did you get that I, album? I Well, I didn't get the album. <laughs> I had a bootleg copy. Uh, but no, I never got the album. That was the one after the Sister Christian album, I believe. Oh, is that what it was? Oh, okay. <laughs> you remember that song? I do remember. Uh, uh, when you close your eyes. That's the other one. That's right. Yeah, that was a big MTV. I don't know how big of a, of a radio hit that was. I know they played it on MTV all the time. Oh, yeah. Anyway. anyway. I thought you were a big Night Ranger fan. No, you thought wrong. <laughs> It's the SETI BIMCO Show with your hosts, Tim and John. This week, John secretly likes Night Ranger, but Tim is not judging him for it. It's SETI BIMCO. It's, it's a show. It's a show where we look back at high school catastrophes. So we have a guest later on the show. Yes. Hillary Campbell. Hillary Maybe I'll steal her her. Sh- her, her podcast idea and ask you what you did this weekend unless you oh, just have I, thoughts well we, we were going to talk about yeah um no well i mean what what did i do this weekend um oh what did i do this weekend you listen, um you listened to all three seti summer camp Pimco episodes i did I did, and I did remember, did remember them all this time, not like the people that I did not remember. Um, no, it was a very, it was just basically trying, are you warm? Because I am, it was just like a case yes. of just trying to keep cool this weekend. It was like it's warm today. Calcutta and monsoon season. It's just, whoo, it's been, it's I'll, just, ask, whew. I'll ask, can our producer, Miss Lee, uh, oh, I got to hide Charlie out to get John some water. Or a, cold, yes. or a cold this compress, is. a cold compress is, or wait, this is, maybe his union contract doesn't allow a cold compress. <laughs> this is your producer, Miss Lee. I'll send Charlie out on his unicycle with John's official Night Ranger water bottle to get it filled. Uh, well, I rode my bike again, even though it was hot. Oh, okay. Where'd you go this time? Uh, like Red Hook. There's a path that goes out there for people who oh, okay. know Brooklyn. Supposedly, mm-hmm. where uh, Mr. Um, wow, names are blanking again. Who's the famous gangster? Oh, Al Capone. Al Cap- supposedly Al Capone like grew up there, and he had to get out. It was too tough for him. Red Hook. Oh, that's what somebody told me. Okay, I, no, I did not. So know I know that. it's true. Some guy in the you street know told true. me that because it was a, <laughs> some I think guy. Was, <laughs> some guy not wearing a belt and carrying a baby doll told you that. That's right. This is where he grew up, and he had to get out because it was too tough. He didn't have a belt, and everybody made fun of his baby doll, so he had to get going. <laughs> I meant to tell you before why I love biking. I owe it mm-hmm. all to the Catholic Church. Oh, really? Getting away from priests? Because you went to... <laughs> yeah, priests can't ride bikes. It's a little known priest fact. Can't ride, but priests can't ride bikes. <laughs> and then we got that Dutch priest. Oh, man, <laughs> that, 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 destroyed that, that destroyed that plan. But anyway... <laughs> Uh, yeah, second grade. What are we? Seven years old? Because you went to Catholic school. I don't know if they pulled this yeah. on you, but the nun, the nun, one day said, "So you're going to write a uh, maybe a paragraph. I don't know how much you can write in second grade. You're going to write what you would do if tomorrow is the last day you had on earth and Jesus was going to come visit you. Uh, you know, the, in my little mind, we we didn't know what they're talking about. They're like talking about the rapture and the end of the world and everything. But they're like, so right, yeah." what would you do if it was the last day and Jesus was coming? And I thought, hmm, I just learned to ride my bike. And I wrote a whole fun essay that I loved about all the things I do on my bike, you know, jumping things, riding my bike with my friend. And Mm -hmm. uh, the nun collected all the papers. And she said, so I'm going to read Timmy's. And I was like, oh, I knew I wrote a good essay. She's going to read mine. She read it with uh, a, a bit of a sarcasm, I thought. I didn't know what that was in second grade, but I was like, that's not how I wrote it. I meant that to be full of joy. And um, I just hear uh, <laughs> yeah, you just sarcasm hear and disappointment. Sarcasm, so do you know sarcasm, what I was supposed yeah. to do on my last day, John? I bet you know. Well, what's, what were you I supposed to do, su- not supposed to ride my bike. I was supposed to ask God for forgiveness for all my sins, to prepare myself to meet Jesus. I thought you'd know all this. The, 
all the well, no, now that you mentioned all those it, sins, all those <laughs> sins you had at seven years old. <laughs> and I was like, "F you, I'm gonna love ride yeah. my bike the rest of my life." <laughs> so, in other words, if we were all already doomed at age seven, I mean, what's the point in even trying? You know? Yeah. My, why not ride my bike? You know? Yeah. <laughs> Eat all the cookies uh, yeah. in the cookie jar. Might as well. I mean, it was only one last day. You want to go talk to Jesus, be my guest. I mean, I'm sure he's a nice guy. Sure. But, yeah. Unless he's mad know. at me for riding my bike, then. Yeah, then I, I guess. Know. I don't know. I don't know. And then your parents, like, pull you in the house and they say, Jesus is very disappointed in you. So that's that's all I got. Well, you did better than I did. You did better than I did. No, it was just, boy, is it hot in here? Woo, it is hot in here. <laughs> you were t- where is where where where, yeah. where where is Charlie with that cold comp? My gosh, I feel like I'm gonna pass He's, out. Oh. Unicycles are hard to ride, John. Well, you know what? Get off the unicycle, Charlie, and, and you know. I heard Charlie. I think has, priests uh, can ride unicycles. It's just bicycles that priests can't ride. Except for that Dutch priest what do you think? that we got in third grade, and boy, he you know. We can say this. This we we record a little bit ahead. So can we just say that this month was the 100th birthday of? Mr. Uh, Norman Lear. Yeah. Yes. Creator of Maud. Creator of Maud, all in the family, the Jeffersons. Good. Uh, did he create Good Times? Yeah, because they were all spinoffs. Yeah. Offs. yeah. Mm-hmm. As a matter of fact, I have right now in the spare bedroom, I found an old Ouija, bro- Ouija board. And oh, yeah. I've got the lady that owns a shop that sells crystals and tarot cards. Uh, she smells like what? patchouli oil and she doesn't shave her armpits. Um, mm-hmm. I got her in there on the Ouija racist. board. Um, okay. I got her. No, not racist. She just doesn't. She wears patchouli <laughs> oil and doesn't shave her armpits. Okay. That's fine with me. I'm just. Yeah. Um, I have the mentally challenged woman who um, puts the. Um, the chickens on the rotisserie to roast them at Walmart at the, uh, at, at the deli and okay. the homeless guy who roots through our dumpster to find deposit bottles. And they are all huh. right now on the Ouija what? board in the spare bedroom. Uh, they are trying to get in contact uh, on the other side with the spirit of B Arthur to see if B Arthur has any uh, hundredth birthday wishes for Mr. Norman Lear, and I'll keep you. I'll keep you updated on those. Okay, there be it might not be. The, well, I've got the door closed. <laughs> I said, "Don't get chanting too loudly." I've got a podcast to do. I think they've all climbed out the window by now, John. They're outside no, I looking through the garbage. Are you all still back there? They're all still back there. <laughs> They're all still back there. <laughs> okay, well. Should we? The, the, uh, the, the mentally challenged girl brought the rotisserie chickens, the, the, the expired ones. They're they're fine back there. They're fine. They stayed hot they're, for two days. There should be no salmonella. Fine. They are fine. <laughs> she left and them in the car are, with the windows up, so they, 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 they are, they've been they cooked are, twice. <laughs> they are contacting the spirit of of B. Arthur. I don't know if it's going to be this week. You know, I might have to have him back next okay. week. You know, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe, maybe at the end of the show because we have a great guest to, to get to. We do have a very great Hillary. guest that gets Hillary. Hillary Campbell. Hillary Campbell, yes. I heard there's some controversy about her middle name, but we'll get to that. So enough of our yeah. <laughs> enough of our talking. Let's let's talk. Let's to get to guests. Hillary. So John, enough enough, yes, please. enough talking. Okay. Well, before this was, apartment we're starts about, heating we're, we're up gonna, again, she's yes. before this apartment starts heating up again, we gotta do this quick. So let's yes. listen, funny woman. Make us laugh now. <laughs> We're introducing Hillary Campbell. Hillary She's Fitzwig- the author of Fit- Hill- the graphic Hill- novel. Hill- what? Hillary Fitzwiggle Campbell. <laughs> Did I have to say the whole name? Yeah. We Hillary know it's Fit- Fitz- Fitzwiggle, too. That's funny. Fitzwiggle. Is that really right. how it's pronounced? Fitzwiggle, no, it's, yeah. Fitz- it's Fitzgerald. No, Hillary, no, Hillary, it's Fitzwiggle. What's going on? And, it's Fitzwiggle. And, and I, think I, I mean, when, I'll go and, with and, it. And I think when you check your birth certificate when we're done recording this, you're going to be very embarrassed <laughs> that you corrected me. I don't say hard words. All I just, I say. <laughs> well, no, and I understand why she doesn't want to use the Fitzwiggle because everybody knows <laughs> in English, in English history, right. the famous yeah. Lord Fitzwiggle. You know, oh, yeah, little, I don't, don't want to be associated. Don't with bring him up. 
Well, it's a little <laughs> known. It's a little known chapter in English history. Uh, he, uh, <laughs> Lord Lord Cuthbert Fitzwiggle, who was the hero of the little known 17th century Cheddar War. Um, of course, the village of Cheddar is the origin of cheddar cheese. However, and, another that, town, and that's right near Tillamook, Oregon. Yeah. Yes, exactly. However, <laughs> another town had created the exact same cheese. They, they wanted to name it after their town. And oh, the name no. of that town was Croup upon Queasy. Uh, oh yes. My God. So less than this ideal. Is, cool. ideal. Is, this, is this written down? <laughs> yes, it is. This is English. This is English history. Oh. I, I, I went down to the library at Cornell and found this. <laughs> Hillary's younger than us. She didn't have the same history classes. Well, yeah. well, here you go. We didn't learn this in history either. We learned about the Algonquins, <laughs> the Iroquois, for like mm-hmm. six months. Oh and then my they, God. We had a month to learn about the Civil War, World War I, World War II, immigration. You yeah. know, so, it, you know, we never ever did get to the man on the moon. And we went to school in the 80s. Because yeah. it, wasn't yeah, in the, it wasn't in the textbooks yet 15 we weren't, years We weren't ago. going there anymore. There was no point. But you know the the, the croup, you know, croup, croup, well, no, just let me just let me finish my little. <laughs> okay. Let me get. Let me finish my little. This is very fascinating. Mm-hmm. You know, if you don't want to be educated, Tim, you well, know. Well, you I know mean, that the um the Algonquin <laughs> Hotel is, of course, where Mister Fitzwiggle hung out with all his it, other. It's writers. it's true. His oh. descendants all did. Well, they were banished they from. All, um, they, all they were banished from England, there. but that's another story. Um, and of hilarious. course, croup does lie on the yeah. river Queasy, uh, a river that of meanders course. through the Cotswold. It's a mostly stagnant, mosquito-infested river, and it can be smelled for miles away. Hence, the age-old oh, no. English adage: "Good God, man, take a shower! You smell like the river Queasy." So today, you know, okay. thankfully, thankfully, Lord Cuthbert Fitzwiggle and Cheddar won the war because if not, our choices for cheese today could be. Been. American provolone Swiss Munster and croup upon queasy. And nobody would yeah, order croup upon really queasy. Tough. And people would be no. like, why do we even carry croup upon queasy? This is killing me sure. in food costs. Oh my God. <laughs> so Just I understand you. The, the, the packaging alone, the, you know, yeah, the name croup upon, to get on the packaging. Croup upon queasy. I, That's tough. I didn't know if this was coming, Hillary. No one It surprises did. me every week. It's it's my yeah. homage. It's my it's my homage to my Python. He was just oh, gonna yeah, said sure. he was just gonna ask you what you did this weekend. Well, we'll get into that. Oh, and then he pulls too. this on me because I got it. Well, no, <laughs> you're introducing the guest. Wait, so anyway. Hillary, <laughs> I, our guest today is Hillary Fitzwiggle Campbell. She's the author yes. of yes. the graphic novel <laughs> Murder Book, a graphic memoir of a true crime obsession, published by Andrews McMeal. She's a New Yorker cartoonist and a comedian and has a podcast with her friend Derek called What'd You Do This Weekend? And we'll let you plug that later on, too. Don't forget. I won't. I just listened to a few episodes. I listened to some before. I don't want to sound like I crammed them. Yeah, I listened to five of them one hour before the show. (laughs) You I, I hope you got that piece of taco me. out of your brain. I've been, I have not Oh been able my to get god, that, that was a really upsetting time for me. <laughs> oh, I don't know if you heard that one, John, wow. but she got a piece of taco in her brain. Oh, so wow. deep, like all the way in the eye. Oh, oh the, my! The bot- I didn't. No, I missed. I, I missed that know. episode. I missed. The, I really missed that upsetting. episode. I got to be honest with you. Just, need us. Oh my it, gosh. <laughs> No, no, because well, you know, so I've, I've had taco questions this weekend because I see like you know them advertising street. I have taco questions this weekend. Like I've been thinking, like like I've been seeing like street You're tacos advertised, tacos? and I'm like, what does street taco mean? Is it like here? I found this taco on the sidewalk. You want it? What's a street no. taco? I don't understand. Yeah, very funny. I'll tell you, but I don't think you actually want to know. <laughs> All right. Well, never mind. I don't want to know what meat goes into. <laughs> I don't want to know uh, what kind of meat goes into a street taco is what I'm saying. Sure, sure. John, John was upset last week that I saw a rat during dinner, and I live in Brooklyn. And I'm like, John, the rats are just everywhere every day. Yeah, that's just like you, a thing. You see one I rat mean, every like time you walk the dog, right, Hillary? What? Absolutely. I, oh, I said I like to name them all. I oh. actually love New York rats. I think they have so much personality. They are a blast. I, they are always running errands, and they have places to go, people to see. Yes. And 
I mean, you think you know? You think you know the streets of New York? The rats know yes, how to they get. Do. Right. They 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 should be they should be driving Uber. They should be stop <laughs> stop funding the M- rats as a person. Stop, fun- stop funding the MTA. Start putting the money in rats. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm but, writing uh, this down now because it's funny. Um, okay. Hillary, I did want to say I read your book and I enjoyed Thank it. Thank you for doing that. And <laughs> e- eerily, you and I have a lot in common. Oh. Both our moms were nurses. Both of us oh, were huge. the last born. Okay. And both thanks. of us were kind of passed around to old people because I was last born too. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, there you go. And there's some unsolved murders in my town. And no, John has wait, a connection to from? one of them. Oh my God. Up, upstate New York, you would have never heard of it, uh, Waverly. Sure. Okay, yeah. And and John, if you didn't know the oh, concept of the show, oh, John. Um, we're naming the town well, now. I don't care. I don't care. Oh, okay. All right, okay. <laughs> it's all coming out. It's we all haven't coming been out. The, we haven't named the town. You know, I, a couple times, like, what has come out of my mouth? And I'm like, oh, wait well, a second. Mysterious. If we're going to yeah. talk about Cal Harris, we're going to talk about, uh, you mm-hmm. know. Yes, he's been on Dateline. Yes, Hillary. Ooh. There's a famous... Well, we can't say murder, but his wife was never Something. seen again. So, if you, sure. if you can't find that a body, can found. you call it murder? Exactly. Yeah. I know. Yeah. No mm-hmm. body, no crime. Mm-hmm. Although he so did, did you see time. the? Yes, but this um, just to tell you the connection to to John. Mm-hmm. Uh, that this. How do I tell it quickly? There's a man upstate. He's got a few million dollars, and if you live upstate. You can live like a king on that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Has a, had a wife, uh, young kids, and everybody kind of knew the, the marriage was uh, uh, frayed with uh, Rocky. Yeah, b- bad stuff. And okay. the, this is the weird thing. The night of September 10th, 2001, was the oh, last no. time anyone saw her alive. So the next morning, everybody, the FBI is running to New York City, 9-11. And she, mm-hmm. that's the morning her truck was found outside of her the house she she shared with her husband is that right, John? And really? her truck was there, and well, no trace of her. I think they may have been separated that at that point. And but yeah, she worked at the restaurant yeah. on the street that I like in my little town. No way. Actually, not so, too far from your house. Same, not too far from my house. That's the same day that the FBI also broke the the McDonald's fraudulent scandal. You mean with no one the heard. contest? Yeah. But no one really? heard about it because it was September tenth, two thousand one. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's a documentary thought, about that which mm-hmm. I haven't watched. Okay. I thought it was all about the scandal of that ice cream machine never working. I thought they were finally going to get to the bottom of that, but <laughs> it wasn't ice that. It wasn't that. Never sca- works on West Fourth Street. It wasn't yeah. that soft yeah. serve ice cream. <laughs> That's a it's whole like, other documentary. A, can I get a milkshake? No, sorry, the machine's broken. Not today. Not today, only, actually. You can you can only have a hot apple pie that's the slightly uh, yeah. less hot than the sun. Yes, exactly. <laughs> One degree less. But, but anyway, Hillary, to uh, you should look into this story. I was on Dateline, and I think he's been tried four times. Is that right, John? Four well, times. I'm not sure. I know of at least. I know definitely two, possibly three. You may be correct about the four. Was it? I mean, you. How can it? Were they mistrials? Because how could you get tried again? Basically, I, they I were. The basically, news, yeah. they were mistrials. Yeah, hung they juries, mistrials. And, hung juries, oh, and wow. yeah, and things like that. And just he had so much money, he could keep lawyering up and lawyering up. And mm-hmm. eventually, how very Michael Peterson of him. Very yes. Michael Peterson. Yes. And very as Michael Peterson esque. Yes. As can I tell your fact, mom's connection or no? Oh, well, I was going to tell it, Sorry. but sure, you go ahead. You you tell it. Tell no, it, John. No, no, you tell it. It's only She's <laughs> no, only John. my mother. What right do I have to tell the story, Tim? Go ahead. <laughs> you tell the story. No. It's you tell it. I don't know it as well, well as you. Well, I don't really know it that well either. <laughs> it's just that my mother um, here in Auburn, she worked at the Maximum Security Prison, uh, which um, is oh. historically known for the first time, the first prison they ever used the electric chair, Ooh, and my know. mother oh, wow. was the my mother was the supervisor in the upholstery shop. So basically, she worked with inmates, some murderers, a lot of drug charges, yeah. um, and you know taught them how to upholster furniture. So one oh, day, okay. Cal Harris comes in, uh-huh. and 
is yes, asking sir. for asking for a job because he's incarcerated. And so my mother's like, I can't, you know, I, I'm going to have to because being from that town, we live, you know, we're, we're like two hours away now. But she's going, you know, I know too much about this guy. I don't know. I don't feel comfortable about it. So my yeah. mother, who was pretty quick on her feet, said, well, she now, him. are you are you going to be meeting with your lawyers a lot? He goes, oh, yes. Uh, my lawyers are going to be here very frequently to meet with me. We are going over my appeal. I think he did get convicted once. Yeah, he and was in jail once. Then I think he did get, yeah, because if you're, if you're in the maximum security prison, you've been convicted. And then he got out on appeal the, the final time, mm-hmm. and which may have been the fourth trial. So maybe that was the fourth trial, the, uh, the acquittal. But anyway, mm-hmm. um, so she said, mm, I'm sorry, I can't, you know, I need somebody who's going to be here every day. Because they made all the office furniture for all the state offices. She was, I really need somebody who's oh. going to be here. So that was her out. So she that couldn't stay. She couldn't stand the chaplain. She couldn't stand the chaplain there. He was like just a total mm-hmm. dick. And so my mother said, but why don't you go down and interview with the chaplain? And I'll be damned if the chaplain didn't hire him. Oh, oh wow. A dream come true for her. I know. She's like, a, she's, like about- the, she's like the film noir spider lady setting it all up. Yes. Yes, exactly. <laughs> she knew what she knew what she wanted. She knew what she, she wanted to get she done and she, she and she, she, she did was it. smoking a cigarette and she like very Betty Davis Davis put it out with her Pulled high heels because of course because of course she knew <laughs> yeah. she wore high heels at the prison every day. And oh, uh, of yeah, and actually the, the our, actually Tim and I have a connection to the to the story because a guy who we went to high who was a year ahead of us in high school was somehow I don't know if he was Physically, oh, that's right. I romantically involved with the wife, but anyway, his name came up very early, and he had done time in prison in Arizona. Oh, so yes. he was very briefly mentioned at the beginning of the Dateline episode. So that is another connection mm. we had to the to the case. The layers <laughs> of the mystery. So mm. there's our, our big mystery from our town. I, I wish I gotten okay. a hold of you earlier. You could have put it in your graphic novel. I know it's really too bad. Well, always- Volume so how, two. How long, will be dedicated how long did you work you. on that? Um, three something years. I oh think. wow! Something so it was like lab- that was a labor of love. A labor of love. A labor of uh, love. It didn't bother. Yeah. It didn't like. It didn't seep into your head like Mine Hunter. Oh God, no! It was a nightmare. All that at research, the end, you know. Yeah, yeah, no. I think I well, I had a nice balance between just talking about my own life, you know, like the chapters mm-hmm. when I got it. Like I'm like, oh my God, I, I was like, I don't want to ever draw Ten Buddies face again. Like <laughs> yes. I was like, why did I do this to myself? I can't believe this. But yeah. um, but then when then you know with like those chapters about more about me and my mother and stuff. So it was you know it was right. kind of like balanced between the, the different types of storytelling um but it you know is is a very long journey very long journey yeah yeah i know it's a lot of work congratulations it is thank you i know i'm working on my next book now and it's really hard after you finish that whole thing and you go you want me to do that again oh no is it gonna be murder again (laughs) no it's not murder at all this will be frazier Frasier, the yeah. obsession. Oh my Frasier book. <laughs> I, w- you know what? That's a good idea. <laughs> it's certainly not a bad idea. Um, you, could, you, could work, you could work a murder into Frasier. Yes. I mean, there's a lot of like funny murder Frasier episodes. There's the one where Daphne solves the old crime that like it was the, the crime that Marty could never solve while he was still on the on the field. Oh, wow, you remember these we well. Love Frasier. I love Frasier. We love I just remember the, the the seal on the beach, and they thought it was a. Did they think it was that's a dead body? Funny. They think they, they yeah they think they they think that he killed Maris, and that's okay. funny. That's very funny. <laughs> I do like the seal that ends up where the seal ends up what it, wearing the feather boa and right the, right right. <laughs> I do remember um, that episode. <laughs> and, and Maris was kind of like what Vera was on Shears. You never saw her. You never yeah, saw yeah. her. You know? Unheard of. And <laughs> yeah, they so you know, spend, you know, a lot of from Cheers. A lot of jokes about anorexic women there. <laughs> if she oh, turns dear. to the side, you can't see her. <laughs> um, she's like she's but, like Maud's mother on Maud, right? Right, Hillary. Yeah. <laughs> on Ma- yes. I'm just trying yes. to trip up Hillary. Do you actually know what Maud is? 
No, the TV I was show. Do you yes. know? Do you know I Golden know, Girls? No, I know. No, I know Golden Girls. I know Mod. I've just never seen it, so I can't wow. like. Call you got to check it out, it. Hillary. You but I've seen watch Golden Mod, Girls and then you're going to come back on the show. Yeah, then I'll watch it. <laughs> You'll be a changed person. Mm-hmm. But you said in your book you're obsessed with the seventies. I, I know, right? You'd, you'd so am I a fraud? Like am I a total fraud? <laughs> no, um, no, no. You're more <laughs> now. I'm going to ask Hillary a question now, Hillary. If I okay. am like reading all your info and your bio and your material. So I, 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 it's like for you, the pinnacle of serial murderers, Ted Bundy. He, well, he can't, I don't have, well, I mean, I get, I have a pinnacle. What does that mean? What do you mean? Like, like, like who could top? Like who, who is like the ultimate, like, is it John Wayne Gacy? Is it Jeffrey? Do you mean Dahmer? a better story? No, just who was I, like, yeah, yeah, I'm okay, the better story, sure, why not? I don't know, I mean, oh, there's, well, that, that era is just filled, filled it is. with so many we, we were serial there. killers. We yeah, were there. no, you I, obviously, no, I mean, like, the BTK killer, that blows my mind. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, that one's scary. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And he's the person in Mindhunter we, we keep seeing, right? Is that what you think? Are they going to bring Mindhunter back? Yeah, dude, that hope. is him. Oh, but, oh my god, if there's not an if there's not another season of Mindhunter, like cut to me jumping off a cliff. I've been waiting. <laughs> me too. Waiting. We were, we were, we were waiting. talking about I that. Read that book. Yeah, I read that book. Marcy, yeah. I have the book. Yeah, I'm just yeah, like, our previous. Hello? We have a guest, Marcy, who lives in Pittsburgh, where they film it, and her oh, gra- they filmed her grandmother's house as the no house way. of who. What the woman in the oh, movie? Who's the, the, the woman investigator in season two? Um, Vera. Uh, it, well, it's played. No, she just looks like Vera. Sorry, she looks like Vera Farmiga. Well, but she's not Vera Farmiga. That was our guest's Anyways. grandmother's house, and they're like, "You just got to stay away from fun. the window and hide." We're pretending yeah. it's someone else's house. Oh my god, how fun! <laughs> and she wanted to watch to it. Be... And they're like, "No, Grandma, you can't watch this show." Mm, unless I was, <laughs> if I was the grandma, I could though. Yes. I and I think I think Jonathan and I think Jonathan Groff broke up with his New Zealand boyfriend. I'm very excited. There's hope. <laughs> oh yeah. I have I a mean, bit of a crush on Jonathan stuff. Groff. I will admit. Why not? And how mm. could you not? I know. Mm. Yes. Very I just, fun. I just has keep he, watching. Has he been another thing? From Frozen in a loop. You know? No. What? Uh? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but but the Hillarys were the Hillarys. The seventies weren't the, that great, Hillary. Hillary. <laughs> no, I know it's it's a mere. I, again, I, that's why I say I blame the movies because they like. Yeah. I, well, it's also like all of Fincher, not all of Fincher. It's Zodiac. It's the movie Zodiac, yeah. and like that's which was an excellent. I just movie. love it. It's such a good movie. Um, in the seventies, at Christmas, you got a pet rock, it. and you thought it was funny for five minutes until yeah. you realized like, someone gave you a rock for friend. Christmas. Mm-hmm. My new that's, friend. That's, I that's why totally, there were so many serial I mean, killers. They just got yeah. angry. And started I made. Okay, I made a lot of pet rocks for myself. What? When I was like six, I made a lot of those. Absolutely. Because I because of the pet them. rock fad, or you just were doing this. I don't know why I was doing Oh, I think the Pet Rock fan had been over for about 25 years by this time. (laughs) I know. So where did I get the idea? (laughs) Well, maybe maybe your fascination. Did you name them? No, I, well, well, maybe I did actually. And I just don't remember. Maybe I did. You just don't remember. I would have liked to have seen those names. Who's to say? Mm. I know. Oh, dear. Um, Was this your mother's idea? My siblings were, yeah, probably. Most, (laughs) yes. I would say yes. My siblings were a lot older than me. So it was like. So Here, I go was play with some rocks. Age, we have things they to do. Were, they were out the door. Yeah, they yeah. had other more important things to do. They had a like, driver's license. Dress, dress up as like the Spice Girls with me, you know? Yeah. Um, it's very similar to Europe. But right anyways. Too. Yeah, it's very similar to my upbringing. Similar. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I, well, yeah, the book, I did the book and it came out and... Now it feels like it's like a century ago, and but it also feels yes. like yesterday. They do the marketing the blitz time. and then they drop you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you right? go what? Yes. What? And then try to try to schedule any book event if your book hasn't just released. They don't right. care. I've been trying to be like, well, I'm out in California now. Like, I, you know, there's all these bookstores I didn't get to come to because of the pandemic, mm-hmm. and like, 
they don't even respond to my emails. I go, I could uh, be funny. I could do something and be like really funny really? and interesting. But but the you book stand-up. was out in November. And so that's now it's irrelevant. Speaking of your stand up, so what, what was your issue, John? Oh no, I, I just thought it was hilarious. I, mean, I just thought it was hilarious when I Well no, there was this one bit where you're talking about having her drink white wine with ice because you don't want to get oh, acid right. reflux. I think she's <laughs> got it right now. <laughs> yes. You don't want to get how much ice is in here? Oh my gosh, you this do is do all it. Ice. Which I thought was <laughs> I something. am not lying to you. <laughs> Because I am at the age now where, like, I love chips and salsa, but I can't eat chips. Like, I open up the refrigerator and mm-hmm. go, chips and salsa. Acid. I can't eat that. Exactly. It's after 730. Mm-hmm. I can't eat that. Yep. Because, oh, my God. You couldn't possibly. <laughs> because yeah. one, of, one of my bartenders were at this microbrewery downtown. He just mm-hmm. turned 30. And he's like oh really God. bummed out about it. And I'm like thinking, really? <laughs> you think because you've made it to 30, you've seen the worst of it? Oh, babe, you <laughs> ain't seen nothing yet. Um, I've had acid <laughs> reflux since I was 17. Because you were so hanging out with I've old been, people. I've, I've right. been here, you know? I've been here struggling you're, with you're, my body. You're, oh, my you're, God. You're playing canasta with you're, with the old folks, and all of a sudden yeah. you get acid reflux. It's osmosis. I know. No, I have so <laughs> many old people issues. I have, like, like, this, like, I have this this thing on my forehead. It's an oversized oil gland. That's, oh, I heard you that, mention they this they, on a they podcast. Don't, they don't see that. Oh, my God. See, why am I still talking about the same things? Okay. It's okay. I have no, psoriasis. This is... I have psoriasis everywhere. I have um I got I got the shingles oh, no. in eighth grade. Oh eighth my god. Eighth grade I got the shingles. That's supposed to be the chicken pox, Hillary. For old people. Right. My mother's got it like <laughs> no. in your fifties. Exactly. Yeah. I had the shingles covered the whole left side of my body. I get a lot of old people diseases. Hey, well, in I high think... school, did did you get some letters from AARP? Did they send them out to you know, right away right? when you're 60? Oh, my God. I, <laughs> I remember think I... when I was... It... <laughs> It only gets worse, Hillary, because I, I love to wear I love to wear sandals outside, and at With my socks. age, to wear to wear my sandals outside and show my feet off, I have to have a mm. a, a, a pedicure like once every four hours. Yeah, to, to make yeah. the nail to bung it off. Yeah, <laughs> to not yes. to not Hillary, offend think, anyone greatly. I'm thinking the next thing Hillary has to look forward to is a goiter. <laughs> hey. <No. laughs> Well, my mother's got <laughs> severe bunions on her feet, oh, so you well. know that could be coming for me. That's oh, I have started, a bunion. Oh, I have got them. I'm on my feet all day. Yeah. I've got bunions that look like yeah. thumbs. So that's my yeah. thing. Yeah. When you turn well, fifty, I have bad you're just... knees. I have oh. bad knees. I have that. Oh, um, but the psoriasis well, is the real kicker. When you're fifty, you, you know you, you can have rocks for friends because yeah. it's I hard know. to make friends when yes. you get older. It just goes right back <laughs> around know. in a circle. Oh my god. Seriously. Oh, and my Thank mom was God, a nurse in a, a nursing family. home, Hillary. Right. Oh. oh, sorry. So I had a different oh, no. nurse experience because we'd go to, to the nursing home to pick her up. And my mom, whether she was joking, or she, well, she liked the patients. I don't think she realized how terrifying this was. She'd like, say hi to the so-and-so, Tim. She's 90 years old. Yeah. And I'd shake her hand. Yeah. And this old lady took my hand like a, a vice and would, no, a vice and would not let go. <laughs> and I'm like, Mom... Well, Hold on to your been two hours. Like, I'd like to go home. Oh my god, that's so, funny. What, one time yeah. in high school, it was a Friday night. This is this is what this is how unpopular I was in high school. It was a Friday night, uh-huh. and actually, you went to the Tim's, nursing home. Tim, no, Tim's mother was one of the people. They needed a fourth for pinochle. So I'm like 16 <laughs> on Friday night, sitting with Tim's mother, Mary Schmag. Oh, I forgot uh, that. And so they taught me that how to teach funny. pinochle. I mean, I thought I did pretty well, but they never asked me again. Oh <laughs> no, you weren't a good. You weren't. Maybe you weren't. You a lost good money. That's what happened. They get or angry maybe, with their money. Or, how much did you or, pay? For? Or maybe I was too. Oh, we were playing for pennies for yeah. God's sake. Maybe oh. I was too. Maybe I was too good. <laughs> too Where was I? Pennies. Was I like stoned? You, and, you were my probably bedroom? off. You were probably off having a social life, Tim. You were the <laughs> social miss that I was. <laughs> <laughs> somewhere really in between i had like i felt like i was a part of no group like i was here there Mm -hmm. i didn't know where i was i hated high school though (laughs) yeah hello boo boo yeah Yeah. (laughs) i which is a great segue hillary well 
you can finish. I'm here sentence. to segue for you. <laughs> well, I, I, I was just going to say, John. I basically, I basically showed up to graduation just to make sure they spelled my name right on the diploma. That's the oh. only reason I showed up, and I was like, okay, you got it right. Catch you later. And I haven't seen any of them since. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. You saw Bye. me. I've, Except I've, Tim, for Tim. I, Tim, I saw. You've seen it. I saw. Well, I've seen a couple right. people, but yeah, but. But uh, that's a segue because pillary this show mm-hmm. is about your embarrassing mm-hmm. happy hopefully humor, humorous story about high school and i did tell you we're at the end of the SETI's SETI bimco summer camp series did you go to summer camp do you have a summer I, camp story you know what's funny is because i'm teaching summer camps currently um oh you just started so that's though. Funny. but yeah they start on monday um okay no they tried to get me to go to summer camp um they being my parents, and yes. I, it was soccer camp at Santa Clara University um, in California, and I was hysterical for a full 24 hours, and oh. they had to come get me. Wow. I don't do, I did not do well away from my mother. I oh. was like, you'd think somebody had a gun to my head, you know? Wow. They just Ouch. want me to like, I couldn't sleep in my own room. I was, I'm, I was a hot mess, but this was before Oof. high school. This was like sometime in middle school. And my best oh, friend yeah. was there with me trying to tell me it's going to be okay. And I was like, <laughs> 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 you know. yeah, they put me on the phone. I remember the counselor putting me on the phone with my mom and I couldn't even get a word out. I was oh, yeah. crying so much. I remember that. And so, that cry hard. Yeah, they never asked me to go to summer camp again. I would go. I could go to day camp. It was like sleepaway camp. Like hell, no, mm-hmm. you can't send me to another town. I I think I'm dying. You know. Well, again, again, Hillary, the '70s sucked. I, I started to bring it up because you liked the '70s yeah. so much. Yeah. No, I loved. I love to hear about it. When I went to, I, I I'm going to tell you this quickly because I told it to John already. When I went to summer camp. End of seventies, early eighties. Uh, it was mm-hmm. Boy Scout camp, and this is what it was like. Oh. I was walking with my friend. We were going to go to the cool guy's tent. He he camped away from the rest of the counselors. He was a counselor, and my friend's sure. like, "Yeah, he's got candy, Twinkies, magazines, cigarettes. We're going to hang out with the cool counselor." Then he says, "Oh, but by the way, don't sit too close to him. He stuck his hands down Tommy's pants last night." And I'm like, "Oh, no. okay, he's oh, a pedophile." No. No. no, no, we went. No. We weren't going to not go. It, it was like a Dungeons hey. and Dragons game. Hey, they're, they're, we're going to get our cigarettes and cool candy. Pedophile. Just don't sit next to him. Exactly. exactly. There were Twinkies and cigarettes. Come Stop on. Stop it. Stop it. So, uh, yep. So, but I didn't sit oh, next to him. Okay. He talked to me later, okay. but I, I, my radar was up, and I'm like, yeah. see you later. Ah! We, we grew up oh, in a time. We, we grew up in a time. We grew up in a time where pedophiles yes. are more of like nuisances. Like they yes. weren't legal. Yeah, your parents, your, your parents wouldn't let you go guy. out of the house if I told my parents they were around. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> a different time. My boyfriend had a similar experience um, with, and you want you better believe that person's a priest now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you better believe he's a priest. We all know uh, it. No, and I'm not kidding. He is. Um, Hillary, Hillary with the woke jokes. Come on. <laughs> but I'm not, that's not going to joke even actually as a priest no, now. I okay. Well, it's funny. Uh, it's funny because it's true. <laughs> Ew. Oh. Um, but, but your high school story oh. that we brought you to talk about because we kept you 30 oh minutes. God. Right. Well, I have a million, but one that's like you won't like actually upset you. <laughs> I have a lot that'll upset we, we you. We want you to but, laugh, Hillary. We don't want to laugh. No, at I you. know, right? No, this is the one that makes me laugh the hardest because I was like, I was coming from Catholic school K through eighth, and then like transitioning. I did that too, Hillary. But go ahead. Me, oh my me, god. Me too. Okay. Me too. <laughs> okay. So then I had to transition to public high school, mm-hmm. um, which I was happy to do. Like I hated Catholic school, mm-hmm. and plus it, it was it, you know, it's also the only high school in Sonoma, so you know whatever. But um, but so I get there, I quickly lose any friend I might have had because like I didn't immediately get a boyfriend, you know, mm-hmm. and like so that what? wasn't that was like that was pretty lame of me to not immediately get a boyfriend <clears throat> really? or like be good at sports. Like We're- I was like not good at sports. Um, shocker to no one. Um, <laughs> and then I'm like you know desperate for friends basically and freshman year I like I was forced to play soccer just because I. Uh, my parents were like probably like well this is the one thing you can kind of do even though i was actually benched like the whole season because oh, no. i'm not good because i was go- on the, the team because of the goiter and the shingles you couldn't play every yeah, game. yeah yeah obviously i had the shingles <laughs> but 
there was a girl on the team that I, and I, I, her name was, um, and I actually really love this person, but you know, before I really knew her, her name was Zena. She was so cool. She had like a fun, like I play sports, but I'm also kind of a hippie energy. So it's okay. like, she's very cool. Very cool. And so we were, you know, friendly and had been friendly. Um, and cause she was on a soccer team too, but she's way better than me. Um, All right. And so, you know, very few people ever call me, right? So one day Mm -hmm. I'm sitting here in this home where I am currently. Oh, you're at your childhood home. I am at my parents. And um, I get a text from Zena and I'm like beside myself because she says, (laughs) like, are you home? Like she knew, you know, where this house was. And I'm like, oh my God, yeah, I am. Like thinking like, oh my God, (laughs) like someone wants to hang out with me. (laughs) And then... um, she says she's down the street at what was known as the benches and the benches were now I know is where people smoke a lot of pot, but I, I didn't, I was very naive, you know? Mm-hmm. And she, um, she says she's down at the benches and she goes, do you have an apple you could bring me? And oh. I'm like, Oh my God, mom, do we have an apple? I'm like, wait, I have Zena's like, this my friend girl wants an apple. like <laughs> yeah, literally I'm like my friend, Hopefully, new best friend wants an apple, and like we need to get her this apple. And I'm like desperate. I know, right? I know where this story's going. I know, and I didn't. Okay, I did not get it at all. Did you bring a, um, bana- a banana too, just to make sure you covered all your bases in orange? Literally, banana, apple. literally, I think you might want some, I think she's you might want starving. some potassium too. Yeah, yeah. I'm concerned that like I need to feed this girl, right? And I'm like, we're get an apple. I got a, is Fuji good? You know? And then I take the apple and I, it's really, it's just like a, a half a block. I walk down, I'm, I'm walking there. Like I'm bringing her an apple and like, we're probably going to hang out. Yep. And, um, I arrive and she's with some boys and I'm like, oh my God, boys, you know? And, um, and then I hand her the apple and I'm like, oh my God, are you like so hungry? And then she kind of laughs and then she cuts open the apple and puts, uh, the weed in it and yes. they continue to smoke it. <laughs> and then I feel completely stupid that I'm like, I just got summoned. I got summoned so easily. So you could make a bong. Like that. So you could make a bong. And like, mm. I genuinely believed like this was going to be a huge friendship moment. And, um, <laughs> and then oh. I was like standing there and I know they were probably like, do you want to hit? And I was like, no, no, I'll like, just eat my <laughs> banana and no. my I grapes. Know. And, and then I'm like, <laughs> Oh my brought. God. I was such a square. I brought a sandwich. <laughs> like, I brought some chips. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, so you're not, hung- okay. So you're like not hungry. I wish I had an apple to go with it. <laughs> Oh my god! And it, every time I think of it, it just kills me with laughter. Like, oh, it's so, so did they just stare at me. you until you walked away? I or think did... I probably like barely said anything. I was like, I gotta go home now. <laughs> you guys need a napkin. I'm gonna get a napkin for you. <laughs> oh, my god. oh, so stupid. Oh no. Um, no, we were all like that. I know. So funny. It cracks me up so much. And I love Zena. So that's like no shade. No, you shame love her Zena. now. We love. Yeah, no, she's great. Like, that's just like, she's people knew how this. gullible I was. I was very gullible. Like, you could get me and be like, well, mm. yeah, okay. I mean, that, that sounds fun. I'll drive you guys, you know. <laughs> um, We're going to the bank? You yeah. wear a mask? Yeah, you, <laughs> what are those guns for? Okay. <laughs> okay, everyone's got a fun mask on. Okay, it's Fun Mask Friday. I know. Goodness you need me to fly to Bogota? Okay, sure. <laughs> So what are you guys doing with those duffel bags? <laughs> yeah. No, my God. Um, uh, no, but actually high school was like a walking nightmare for me. But oh, yeah. I had like some good moments. And then, but I got like, you know, all the classics. Because I went first, to Catholic first school. First boyfriend cheated on me. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> um, oh, I don't mean to interrupt Catholic your story. School. No, it's not. I actually don't even want to get into it. Why would I bring that up? Okay. I was going to say I was so naive when I left Catholic school. Yeah. How can you not be? And went to the big high school. Our high school was yes. seventh through 12th grade. It was one giant school. So oh, when I was in seventh well. grade and got there, I looked up at the seniors. They're like people with with uh, yeah. five o'clock shadow. I'm like, there's yeah, adults here in like, school with me. The fuck? But, but some people, some kids I met were... So my mom was a nurse. She went to school early. And if it was upstate New York, sometimes it was zero degrees out. So I'm like, sure. I'll ride to school with my mom at yeah. 630. I was one of the earliest ones there. And some other kids were there 
I'm like, what are you doing here so early too? And they're like, oh, we, we rode the bus and eat breakfast. I'm like, oh, wow, you can eat breakfast at school? Cool. I didn't know you could come to school and eat breakfast. I was so stupid. You know, like yeah. it, was, it was the kids who were yeah. so poor. They got the free breakfast. Yeah, they needed it. They needed it. You're like, wow, uh, what a fun treat. What a fun treat for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're like, fuck you. <laughs> 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 that was funny. No, I and John came to school at the last minute. So sure, I got. But by the time it was senior year, well, I John, had myself did we lose set you? up in the Can most you hear beautiful. Uh oh, we lost John. This is your producer, Miss Lee. John has passed out from the heat. Charlie never got the water. He fell off his unicycle and was overwhelmed by the rats who were after the rat treats in his pockets. John is totally not passed that out on his desk. <laughs> <laughs> we, lost we lost John him. to a heat stroke. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, well, I'm sorry. Happening everywhere. Oh, don't worry about it. Uh, I appreciate you being on the show and uh, very yeah. eerie, uh, yeah. eerie similarities in our life. Um, I know. Pretty wild. There were two other murders in my town. They're more, they're more sad. They were young kids when I was a kid. And, uh, Oh. A girl was dropped off at her at a house she babysits at when she was 16. That's the last time I saw of her. The people at the house said, nope, she was never here, but uh, her change of clothes were at the house. Really? So, and this was 1972, oh. small town police. Who wow. knows? I just remember my yeah. parents warning me not to talk to strangers at that time. They wouldn't explain what was going on. Because two girls disappeared. Sure. Well, that's it. Oh my God. That is, that is, that's one of those cases where there's like probably so much more information, but yes. they didn't have a way of, you know, figuring it out. It's a small out. town. I'm from. And that's, de- that's devastating. Yes. I know people know. Very small town. But. Yeah. Well, anyway, thanks for being here. Sorry we lost yeah, John. Welcome. I'll edit in his voice later to uh, say goodbye to you. Pretend to say goodbye to John. <laughs> oh, goodbye, John. Goodbye, John. It was lovely chatting. Thank you, Hillary. And oh, oh, plug your podcast where we can find it. Oh, my podcast. Yeah, no, if anyone wants to listen in, um, Derek uh, Bockelman, Bockelman and I host a podcast called What'd you do this weekend? Where, quite frankly, we ask people what they did this weekend, and you know what? It's different every time. It and is. I actually, it's actually been we, you know, we're about. We only started a few months ago, and I'm having a goddamn blast. Um, so you can find that on all your regular places that you find a podcast, or just subscribe on Substack, where I have a weekly a weekly newsletter that I'm finally updating this week after being on vacation for two weeks. Okay. Um, but the podcast is called but, What'd You Do This Weekend, uh, right? Did you say that? What'd you do this okay, weekend? So I did. I did. What'd you do this weekend? <laughs> and um, my my Substack is cartoonsbyhillary.substack.com. And, um, of course, you can find Murder Book, hopefully, at any bookstore, God willing. Mm-hmm. All right. Great. But thank you so much for having me on. This was a lovely time. Thank you. Yeah, where? Oh man, where am I? What happened? I, I it says heat, Tim. I think I I'm, I am so sorry. Yeah, I am sorry. Did I offend Hillary Fitzwiggel C- Campbell? I hope I. You probably. You probably oh did. gosh, she she's never going to come. And you know that Fitzwiggel <laughs> branch of the family in the UK, they have that. Uh, their their fortune is based on the um, the Fitzwiggel crumpet. So now we might be losing them as a sponsor because probably we have probably upset a member of the Fitzwiggle clan. And I feel so badly about that, but I think I'm going to be okay. Right. Um, I have uh, self-administered an IV, so I am hydrating. Um, okay. Now you don't really know a lot about but, this, but you know, uh, no, I did go to nursing school for a while, so I can did? self-administer. I did. I oh. did. I didn't get my nursing degree because I couldn't make those hospital corners with the bed sheet. So they said, Ooh, sorry. You did everything else. I know, perfect. that's a tough test. What? Yeah, that's the time. They're like, oh, I'm sorry, we can't have this. You have to be able to make us. So I'm like, okay. Well, and then there was that, and and I was on the floor. It was a late shift, and there was this real, really, really mean patient, you know, and he was just like, mm-hmm. he, he was just getting on my nerves, and he didn't like the color of the jello, and he was complaining about this and that. So I just unplugged his life support and walked away, and then suddenly an alarm started going off. So between, you know, between that and the fact that, I couldn't do a hospital court. Now the family agreed not to press charges as long as I left. 
And I was walking with a cardboard box with all my stuff out of the parking lot, and one of their relatives did Your approach nickname, me. The Angel and of Death. The Angel the lazy, of Death. The Lazy Angel of Death. The Lazy Angel of Death. <laughs> and, but the relative <laughs> did come up to me in the parking lot and said, put, put, put his hand on my shoulder and said, thanks for trying. Well, I am, so sorry to, I am so sorry I to cause such a problem on the episode this week. That's why I'm so <laughs> embarrassed. I don't feel like I am yeah. living up to my responsibilities as co-host. Did anybody, and I think your bedroom door stayed shut, so those guys are still in there with the Ouija board. They still haven't gotten anybody. I think, they, I, think they just, I think the homeless guy just wants all those rich history chickens. I think he's holding them back. Maybe next week. Maybe next okay. week, Tim. We'll, we'll say. So we'll, cast the characters. We'll see, yeah, we could, we could, um, we could, uh, we'll, 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 we'll wish Norman Lyra, we'll, we'll, we'll wish Norman Lyra a happy hundredth, because I think it's actually next week that we're that, that he actually turns on her so maybe maybe okay. that's why because you know b arthur she's probably busy in the afterlife probably like you know signing a lot of autographs and you know mm-hmm. there's probably like some sort of and and now that betty white is there you know they can they can have yep. the whole cast and they're probably having like you know panel discussions in the afterlife and you know now that they're all on password them, you say they're on password they're they're on afterlife <laughs> password and uh, afterlife squares um, afterlife <laughs> match game. Uh, yeah, so uh, she's probably real busy, so maybe it'll just take us another week. Here I'm being, it's so hot. <laughs> it's this it the time of so show hot. where we check if we got some letters. Want to see if I got a letter, John? Let's see if we got a letter, Tim. We got a letter from Corey, and it's three paragraphs long. Ooh. My God, Corey. So, t- dear Tim and John, I had planned on writing to defend the honor of Teen Witch Star... Joshua John Miller, after John's relentless attacks during a recent episode, I was oh. going to mention that his parents are Jason Miller, playwright and father Carras from The Exorcist, and Susan Bernard, playmate, and Linda from Faster Pussycat Kill Kill. Oh, I did not know ooh, these facts. Ooh, ooh I'm very, I'm very and, impressed. And that he's been in a few of my favorite films, Halloween 3, Near Dark, which Georgia mentioned all the time, and River's Edge. All right. As I was looking to see what else JJM, as he calls him, has been in, a little film called uh, Stooge Mania, also known as Stooge Party, caught my eye. Stooge now, I'm not usually Mania. in the business to make demands on what podcasts should, uh, what podcasters should cover in their episodes, but I really feel the urge to strongly suggest you throw on this into the SETI B film grab back. It stars Zero Mostel's son. Josh as a stooge super fan whose life is being taken over by his stooge obsession. Sid Caesar plays renowned state stooge psychologist that tries to help him keep his life together. Wikipedia says the film was made to cash in on the resurgence of stooge popularity in the mid eighties, the Charlie shuffle, but bombed terribly. Imagine mm. all the com- content you could do. Like he, he's, well, he's, you're not doing the fart stuff here. How did this film get the theatrical release? Why did it fail? Do you all love the Stooges? Do you all pro Shemp like myself or Strictly Curly? Joe Besser, the worst Stooge? Yes. Which Stooge would fart in an elevator? There we go. Sorry for such long email. Corey. Does it say Corey? Yeah, Corey. Yeah. Well, thank you, Which, Corey. I'm guessing Mo. <laughs> Mo would fart <laughs> in an elevator. Actually, any one of them, any one of them could. It's a it's a photo finish there, but I'm going to go with Mo. Well, we'll think about it, Corey. John John likes a competition because I picked terrible movie last time, and that's a segue for what we're going to do next week. Yeah, unless you have anything to say to Corey. You seem to be no, a lightning rod, John. I didn't, People, I didn't, George, I didn't George realize. attacked you for your your what amphibian are we, what stuff. Are call, what, are, what are we calling him? JJM. Yes. JJM is that? I didn't know that. Okay, so I was like J Lo, JJM. Okay. I didn't Corey realize he had such a rabid him. fan base. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I think he does. I had never seen him. I had never laid eyes on him before. Maybe I have. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to look at something else. So. Hmm. Uh, sorry. Well, sorry, um, sorry. Oh, well, now there we go. Now, now we're going to be back in George, the single digits for listeners. I probably like George, offended. George was after you about the amphibian stuff, and Corey's after you about JJM. Who's next? I just, I just got to be me. Dirk, Dirk's going to call in because you're always making fun of uh, the Brits. I edit it out, but you're always making fun of the Brits. Oh, Tim, I think you're projecting your, 
I think you're projecting your, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Your disdain for the English. Yes. I don't know if you've seen the Discord, but he, he, on his last episode, he called sunscreen, he called it sun cream. So in the Discord, there's a big discussion letting him know it's called sunscreen, not sun cream. Sun cream. That's what they call it, I guess, in the UK. I know. I don't know. I don't, you don't know. have an opinion. I, I, it was never I sunny enough for me. And whenever I went to, of course, now things are entirely different. But every, when I was when I went to England, you know, there was never enough sun to ask for sunscreen no. or sun cream. So I never had a reason to ask for it. <laughs> so I don't know. All right. <laughs> All right, Dirk. Okay. All right. Thanks, Dirk. Thanks, Corey. Sorry thanks, if I. Corey. If I Sorry, if thanks, I Dirk, for the letter. Sorry, you Georgia. Write. Sorry, JJM. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> you know, George. if if you if if you would like, oh, this is a way that we could raise money for twenty five dollars. If you are a huge fan of JJM, I will mm-hmm. record an apology for you, personalized wow. apology for 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 right. for dissing JJM. Uh, that'll be twenty five dollars. We'll figure that out. We'll get that set up on the website. Well, you just disliked the character he played in Teen Witch. If I could he just annoyed me. He just annoyed me. <laughs> All right. He just really, really annoyed me. Well, we'll get out of here so you can go cool off. And yeah, yeah. I, I'm, yeah, I, maybe I'll need, maybe, I might need another IV bag. What are we watching next week? Uh, oh, next week we are watching... As they, as they used to... As they used to... Uh, promo it on TV, a TV movie from 1976 uh, <laughs> based on all the disaster films and they have maybe we get a little reverb on this or maybe next week we can put a little reverb on it okay an all star cast, cast. <laughs> and it's called I can put reverb. and it's called Mayday at 40,000 feet alright never heard of it well, just like summer camp, never buddy. heard of it. So, is this going to be another yeah. soft porn movie? No, no, it's not. And you know what? <laughs> I am hoping that that is our nader. I hope that is like the lowest we ever go. On <laughs> um, because you know what, Tim Hamilton, if you tell me how bad this movie is, and I know how bad this movie is, I give that disclaimer every movie I pick. Yes, but nothing, I mean nothing, <laughs> will ever be as bad as summer camp. I know. <laughs> I'll wear that crown. I'll you wear will that wear crown. that crown with shame. With shame. <laughs> All right. Email us. Sorry. Seti Bimco with an E at Gmail. Uh, Seti Bim on Twitter and Seti under dash Bimco on Instagram. Like and support us and uh, give us five star ratings. And okay. John, wait. Cool what was that? that? What, was, what was that? Instagram again? Under dash? Is that what they call it in the UK? I think you <laughs> mean underscore. Seti underscore Bimco. Bimco. Okay. I probably it's under dash in the UK. You can get back to us on that. You're there from me. Under dash in the UK. Yeah. Under, under dash. dash in the UK. <laughs> you know, or maybe that could be a new like. Under Dirk, dash. Do they say- you know, like whenever, whenever, like you, well, well, I guess they're like malarkey. It could be like oh, that's under dash. <laughs> I can't wait to have Dirk on the show. I'm sure you can't wait. I can't, I can't wait. I wait. Maybe I'll have All to right. take that week off. <laughs> All right. I will see you next week. All right, Tim. And again, Hillary Fitzwiggle Campbell, I am so sorry if I upset you. Seti Binko is a podcast by Tim Hamilton and John Kelly. Produced by Miss Lee. Music by Tim Hamilton. This has been a Pity Party Line production. Party Line, it's a party line. Uh, uh, when you close your eyes.